Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to give you a collection of hints and tips to help you tweak the way that Vista works to, to make it a bit more pleasant to use. Um, one, of the, one of the first things that people often complain about in Vista is the performance issues. So if you're running it on a computer with not very much RAM or, or just a low specification generally, maybe it's not running very quickly, um, to help with that, you can turn off the Aero interface. Um, so to do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Personalize. It seems a bit of a shame to turn off this, this Aero appearance, um, but if your computer is not running very quickly, it's probably for the best. Um, go to Window Color and Appearance. And then you need to go to this Open Classic Appearance Properties and then choose one of these here. You can see Windows Vista Basic, Windows Standard, Windows Classic. If you choose one of those, you'll turn off the Aero interface and that hopefully should help to make your computer run a little bit quicker. Um, another similar thing that you can do is get Vista to um, adjust the visual effects for performance. To do that, I'm going to go to Control Panel here and you can, when you're in Control Panel, you can, you can choose if you want Classic View, which is this one with all the icons, um, or you can choose this one, which has got less options in it and it just depends which one you find easier to navigate. I think most of us are used to classic view so I'll just show you in here I'm going to go to system that part um, I'm going to go down here to performance and then I'm going to click on adjust visual effects and there's the user account control just click continue and then you can you can select here uh, to adjust for best best performance here. Bizarrely, you can choose to adjust for best appearance um, if, if, if it's very important to you that everything's rendered nicely, um, but you may well want to choose to adjust for best performance. And um, that's going to turn off all of these, these little effects, all of the, the drop shadows and the fading and everything fancy like that. Um, as a as a compromise, you could choose custom. You could click on custom, and then you could individually turn off some of the things and retain some of the others. So maybe one you could turn off the thumbnails instead of icons if you think that that's um, if you think that generating all those thumbnails seems to be slowing things down. You could you could choose that one, and then you just click apply and click OK, and that would that would um, turn off some of these visual effects that use up quite a lot of resources. I'm just going to click cancel. Another one, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm still in control panel, I'm just going to go back to the main screen. Um, another, another function that takes up a lot of resources is the indexing system. Um, with Vista, Vista is always in the background creating an index of your files and your programs so that you can use the search box on the start menu to search for things. Um, and the, the index is a bit like the way, that, the way that a search engine crawls the web and it can quickly tell you which web page relates to your search terms. So Vista is doing that and that takes up a lot of resources. So go here in control panel, um, indexing options in the classic view. And you can you can customize how this works because you could turn off some indexing if you wanted to if that was using up a lot of your resources. Um, so one thing, I mean, say for example, let's go and advanced and continue. Say for example, um, there are some file types that you don't want indexed. I mean, maybe you don't you don't need your pictures to be indexed or you don't need your videos to be indexed if you just don't don't use a certain type of file type you never you never search for that file type 
um, using the search box. Um, and it's taking up a lot of effort to do the indexing. You can just go to this file types here in the advanced options, this file types tab, um, and just uncheck, just uncheck a, the certain file type. They're all here. Just find, say, your your um, video file format and just uncheck it on here. And that could save you some resources and click OK. Another one that you can do is um, maybe you don't, you just don't use the search function for documents at all. Perhaps you just want the indexing on the start menu so that you can use it as a program launcher. Um, in that case, you can turn off indexing for certain folders or you can turn it off for all folders. Um, so I'm just going to click there. I'm going to click modify. Down here, show all locations. And there we have, in here, there's the users. There, users. And then we can expand this using this little arrow. And there are all the users. So you can uncheck certain users of the PC. And, and so one person's files are indexed and another's aren't. Or you can go inside the profile and then you could check or uncheck indexing for certain parts of the profile, certain folders. Maybe you could uncheck the music, whatever. You can also use this part to um, add indexing. So if there's a if you've got a, a a folder outside of your profile that you want to be indexed, say say it's somewhere else in one of these folders, then you can you can lo you can locate it using the arrow and you can check it and add the indexing for that. So really with indexing, just you just need to use these, these options to make sure that the things that you need to be indexed are indexed and the things that you don't need, um, then it doesn't bother crawling those parts of your hard disk. It doesn't bother making that index, using up your resources for something that you're not using. So that's quite useful. I'm still in control panel. Um, another another useful one is um, something that that is is can be kind of annoying about Vista. Um, when you're in Explorer and you are and you set folder options, um, and you so you set a folder to display in a certain way in control panel in in uh, in Explorer. Um, you you want it to remember that so that next time you never get back to that folder it's still displaying it in the way that you told it to and sometimes that's not that's not set up by default um so i'm going to go here to uh the 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 home the home this view and i'm going to click on appearance and personalization and i'm going to click on folder options um and then i'm going to click on this view tab and you can see there's this setting here remember each folder's view settings so check that, so it's remembered every time, and click Apply, and OK. And that's 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 a useful one. Um, coming out of Control Panel now, I'm just giving you these tips in no particular order. Um, another one that's a bit uh, annoying is uh, user account control really can go a bit overboard sometimes and it bombards you with alerts and it's kind of tiresome. So you can make that a bit better using just when you're installing a program, something you can do, right click it. And don't just, so don't just double click to install this program, right click and choose run as administrator. And then you just click allow. And hopefully that'll be the only prompt that you get. Um, it will then install the program and it won't, it won't require you to sit there saying yes, 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 all the way through. Um, but be careful, you know, make make sure you only do that when you, you, you've got the program from a trusted source and you, you know that that program is, is safe. That's just a little assortment of tips and useful settings that can help make Vista a bit more pleasant to use.